Good morning. Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke chapter 16, verses 1 and 2 today. Jesus is telling some parables now, and as we're kind of working our way through these, we come to some, some of these are going to be a little bit difficult for us. Let's take the first two verses here on this next parable. He, this is Jesus, he also said to his disciples, there was a certain rich man who had a steward, and an accusation was brought to him that this man was wasting his goods. So he called him and said to him, what is this I hear about you? Give an account of your stewardship, for you can no longer be steward. Okay, let's just leave it there for a moment. There's more to come. But let's pause there and think about this. So, here we have it. There's a certain rich man, and there's an accusation that comes to him. Does he relieve him immediately? No. Now he says, yeah, basically you can't be steward anymore, but he's, he's going to give an account. Give an account of yourself. You, you know, We're going to do a little investigation here. You come and report to me, and sort. we'll, we'll, we'll look at this. So he's going to give him an opportunity to defend himself. God always gives you an opportunity to defend yourself. That's the way it is in God's kingdom. Today, there's a lot of cancellation in our world. You don't think right, you're off. You're, you're not going to be published. You're not going to be allowed on this platform. You're not going to be allowed on that platform. We're going to diminish what you do. We're going to put a warning under the thing you say. And I have no doubt that one day, if these things are even allowed to continue to be in, in the media, something about God, uh, that they'll probably have little warnings on them. Oh, be careful about this guy. There's, he's not only got a bad haircut, he's, he's one of these. He's a member of this church. He's a member of that church. He, he, he teaches this. He teaches that. You know, he teaches this from the Bible. I don't know. But what we got to do is let, let there be fairness. And so here it is. Yes, uh, he's got this guy here. And so what have we got to do? There's an accusation. And so he says, okay, what do I hear? What is this that I'm hearing? Give an account of your stewardship. Okay, tomorrow at noon, come on over. We're going to, you tell you tell me all about what you're doing, and I'm going to make a little investigation into this. So, so God is fair. He lets you check it out. He lets you decide. But God is also right. If there's a serious accusation, he's going to look into it and find out what the facts are. So we want to be right with God always. Now, in this parable, we're going to learn some pieces here that are, go beyond what we're talking about this morning, because this guy's a pretty slippery one. And so uh, we'll see how this don't worry, we're going to see how this works out. I do think we want to be right at all times. And if this guy had never done anything slippery, this would have probably never happened this way. And he could give a perfect account of himself without even making it into a lying account. But let's just say what? We want to be right and be good stewards of all the things that God gives us. And all the things we have are given us by God, right? So we do want to be good stewards. So let's, let's let him help us. Be good stewards. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, there's a lesson for us in this parable, this teaching of Jesus, and one of the lessons is we will have to give an account. We always at some point will have to give an account of our life, our work, of our stewardship. And so, Lord, help us to be faithful so that when that time comes, not if, but when, we will be able to give an honest and faithful account. Now, Lord, thank you for hearing our prayers today and being our God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow morning. What happens next? And you might get surprised if you've never studied this parable before. But in the meantime, be blessed.